Hello, and welcome to another episode. Here we are looking at the X-Wing. Going to go into the briefing room and see what our next mission is. Last time, we stole a Star Destroyer. Let's see what's coming up next. Not now, Frisk. I'll answer your questions once the Star Destroyer has been delivered safely. Delivered where? We risked our tails to get that Star Destroyer. And you can't even tell us where we're going? It's not my call. Besides, I'd be risking a lot of lives if I shared too much too soon. <sighs> you hearing this? After all we did for Project Starhawk. Listen, all I can tell you is the basics. Call in Vanguard for immediate briefing. Ah, heck. It was just getting good. No one I can talk to, just do the briefing. We have an emergency. The Star Destroyer you captured has unexpectedly fallen out of the hyperspace behind enemy lines. Our troops are repairing the hyperdrive as quickly as possible, but you need to buy them some time. There's an Imperial fleet advancing toward the Star Destroyer Victorum. I want A-Wings intercepting enemy fighters. Ooh, A-Wings! The rest of Vanguard will provide defense and support. Now, I know Imperial protocol better than most. I have no doubt the Empire will disable the Victorum with ion weapons before sending shuttles to recapture it. Stop them at all costs. The Empire must not reclaim the Victorum. Once the Star Destroyer's hyperdrive is operational, Cover its escape so it can jump to safety. I'll send you rendezvous coordinates when the time is right. Cool. I'll talk to Lyndon and Ardo first. This is my fault. I underestimated the repair. Now the whole project's at risk. Hyperdrive's break, Ardo. It's not your fault. They should have suggested you send more engineers to Yavin. Then this never would have happened. It's fine. Vanguard is ready. They'll get there in time. Won't you? I know. I know. We're going to do our to darn tit and best. Position a few more engineers. Just in case. Get moving, pilot. Right before I talk to Gunny. I remember the first time I was trapped behind enemy lines. It was the Battle of Mimbin, the first year of the Clone Wars. The Separatists had dropped a battalion of B-2 droids on the Nance Flatlands, cutting us off from the 224th Pawn Division. A thunderstorm was jamming communications, so I took a Skyhopper to rendezvous with the 224, hoping to get some reinforcements. It didn't go well. I was halfway across the Flatlands when those droids shot me down. And believe me, you have never seen a finer crash landing. The only problem was my arm got caught in some wreckage. Figured I'd rather live my life with one arm than sit around and wait for those droids to find me. Besides, you only need one hand to carry a blaster, right? I dragged myself out of those flatlands with only one arm and a seriously sour disposition. I guarantee those clone boys had never seen anything like me before, but they fixed me up. Then they helped us drive those blasted droids right off planet. If only I'd known that three years later, those clones would be replaced by stormtroopers. But, anyway. We should head back to the hangar. The Victorum needs us. Coolio, coolio, coolio. Anything else here? Don't see anything. Let's go back to the hangar. Ear fisk. Ooh, we're gonna pilot an A wing. Oh, I'm so excited. Frisk and Keo. What do you call them? It's just a hunch, Frisk, that's all. So what do you that's think? That's hunch. I feel like it was the Imperials. They probably sabotaged the hyperdrive before our soldiers could get them off the ship. I know it sounds wild, but when Keo has a hunch, they're usually right. Don't listen to him, it's really not that big of a deal. On Miriel, we're taught to respect and listen to the Force. I can't reach out and touch it like, well, like others could, but sometimes I just have a feeling about things. I don't like to talk about it. These days, you never know who in the galaxy is listening. 
Now, let's get serious, huh? When are you gonna have a premonition about the Carillion Lottery? <laughs> really? People are waiting for us to save them, and you're thinking about credits. Look, you see any numbers, just tell me, okay? They gotta be good for something. <laughs> we really should get going. Alright, let's do this mission. Let's look at this A-Wing. Look at this A-Wing! Oh, it's so compact! Come inside. Ooh! Maybe I love the way. Can I press buttons? No? Man, I wish my VR didn't break. Oh, this would be so fun, just... Oh! Okay, let's go. Go as fast as you can fly them. Their hull and shields are too light to take on capital ships, but Imperial Starfighters won't stand a chance with you in this cockpit. Ooh, I could customize them now. We have a few options to make your tie hunting more efficient. Big fan of the rapid fire lasers and barrage rockets myself. Cool, 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 cool. Rapid fire cannon fires extremely quickly, but with a short clip and short range, ideal for hit and run tactics and very dangerous up close. Standard tame and Bach KX8 laser cannon deals good damage at a decent rate with an average. Excuse me. Capacity a great all-around choice, but doesn't excel in any category. Let's do close range. I'm gonna get on with their grills. Oop, like that. Go back. Left auxiliary, regenerate hull type rate over a short duration, stay alive longer even when under fire. Uh, Kessler quick lock missile has a great, a very fast lock time with a smaller payload. This missile is ideal against fast target targets you can't pin down. Uh, Zerka Seeker Mine drops a mine behind you. The mine will lock on and chase enemy starfighters that get too close, exploding on impact. Armic barrage rockets rapidly fires missiles straight ahead capable of dealing very high damage if your aim is true or you're close enough that it doesn't matter hmm interesting countermeasures Armic hm secret warheads fires multiple projectiles behind you that intercept missiles locked onto you it's uh, is effective even when turning at long ranges. Particle burst. Drop a cloud behind you that breaks locks and stops missiles and mines. Fly straight to ensure projectiles hit the cloud. Can protect capital ships. Cool. Um, the hulls. Income. Pharaoh ceramic hull. No bonuses or drawbacks. A good all round choice, but doesn't excel in any category. Uh,. Salin and Corpil lam Lamina Steel Hull. Your Starfighter takes much less damage from auxiliary components like missiles, but takes more damage from lasers. Uh, Fibertech Dampler Hull. Enemies take longer to lock onto you, but you have less hull integrity. Counters lock on weapons such as tractor beams and missiles. Hmm. I think all around will be fine for this one. Standard Incom Deflector Shield. A standard deflector shield that provides a good balance between damage resistance and energy regeneration. Overloaded shield. An extremely powerful shield and with low regeneration. It reduces all damage, but shields will not regenerate if fully depleted. Nope, that's not what I want. Engine. No bonuses or drawbacks. A good all around choice, but it doesn't excel in any category. Quadex propulsion engine, your starfighter can reach max speed and to stop quickly. Great for outflying enemies trying to trying to get behind you. Hmm. Sounds like this would be good. Let's try it out. Let's go. Gonna fly an A-Wing, gonna fly an A-Wing, 
gonna fly an A-wing. I'm so excited. Take her warheads, quick lock missile, rapid fire, and a repair kit. What happened here? Whoa, holy fuck. Who cares? Our star destroyer's in trouble. Vanguard, good to see you again. Think you can keep those bombers off us? We're on it, Victorum. Sit tight. Five, intercept those TIE bombers. We need to buy our crew some time. Brisk and I will handle the rest of the starfighters. Enemies. We just need time to restart our systems. Work fast. Imperial shuttles headed your way. Hold them off. If even one Imperial shuttle reaches us, we'll be overwhelmed. You heard them, Vanguard. Intercept those shuttles. We should split up to take them down. Doing that. Target an enemy and tap H to order an attack. Your wingmates will focus on that target until it's destroyed or give them a new command. If you call for a resupply at any time, the squad will break off your attack and return to defend you. Tap H. I'll focus on the other shuttle. Oops. Blow that up. Don't let those shuttles near our star destroyer. Trying. Trying and trying and trying and trying and trying and trying. Boost. Nice. Resupply. I gotcha. That shuttle's getting too close. Nice. Another shuttle group incoming. They have ties in tow. This boost. Sorry, I keep hitting R like to reload.
Nice. Imperial transports are done for. That's the last of those blasted shuttles. Just in time. Systems are up. Time to fix the hyperdrive. Take out the Empire's carriers and buy us time, all right? I'm calling in Y Wing support. They'll lead a bombing run on those carriers. Don't let any TIE fighters near them. Where are you going? In order your squad to defend your allies, target a friendly ship or structure and tap H to issue a defend order. Your wingmates will attempt to protect the target from attackers until you give them another order. Nice. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there was like, what are you talking about? There's no other TIE fighters. to drift is racing in the Koshi star circuit first transfer all power to your engines and fly as fast as you can yes now we're gonna buzz the bridge of the Victorum be ready to boost are we gonna do that po thing What do you want me to do? I wasn't really paying attention. 
I'm gonna fail this mission just because I don't know how to drift? That's what's gonna happen? Okay, cool. Oh, that's so useful. Okay, but it's like that Poe move in... Fuck, I forgot what movie it showed up on. <laughs> Last Jedi. Is correct direction. All right, Victorum, we're in position. Where are we headed? Somewhere classified. Just send you the coordinates. Got him. Punching them in now. Let's go to hyperspace, boys. To hyperspace in three, two, one. Punch it. Man, I wish they would let me punch it. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Well, we gotta get there now. I don't know what happened. Everything was fine, and then our systems just shut down. Sounds like your mobby nullifier is blocked. Run a system flush, then restart. It should be fine. More Imperial ships. Do you really want their Star Destroyer back? I don't know why. Perfectly fine for a little bit. Can you hold them up a little longer? Didn't come this far just to leave you hanging. It's now or never, Vanguard. Protect the Victorum.
fuck. Okay. Shit. Wish I would let me punch it.
Who'd want to get this close to the Ringale Nebula? I believe that is the idea. It's cool. Now that is a battleship. That's why we've been gathering Imperial ships. To build this. We call it the Starhawk, and it's going to help us end this war. General Sindula. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri dockyards. I've given you a tour, but the Empire knows we're up to something now. They'll be looking for us, which means we have work to do. Through many trials, you have brought the Star Destroyer Victorum to the Nadar Nadiri Dockyards, hidden deep in Bormia Sector. Here, it will become part of a prototype. Prototype New Republic Battleship, the Starhawk. Mission complete. Let's continue! Oh, we're going to Imperial side. Are they gonna get scolded? Like, what the fuck did you we lost a Star Destroyer! The old enemy has finally surfaced. One of my spies has linked the attacks on our Star Destroyers with the New Republic Starhawk project. A common factor is Lyndon Jays. You knew Jays better than anyone, Captain Carroll. If I had, I'd have destroyed him before he betrayed us at Hostar Haven. Then this is your second chance. The rebels are keeping a low profile. Take Titan Squadron. Hunt down this Starhawk and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Sloan. But if I may ask, there's a particular pilot I'd like to requisition. Type riders are cool. Greg, come in. Is it true we're getting a new pilot? Copy, soul. Captain Carroll's bringing someone in. The treacherous slime taking our ships. Good. More the merrier. <laughs> Easy, Von Reg. Remember the last time you lost your call? The day I cut through a whole squadron of rebels and saved your neck. Focus. Shen's right. Tighten it up, Sol. And Von Reg. Save a little for the enemy. Overseer to Titan. Finish your inspection. Your new wingmate has arrived. Hmm. All right. So, you're our new wingmate. Welcome to Titan Squadron. I'm Varko Gray. I think they're waiting for you in the briefing room. Better make a good first impression. Okay. All right. So. It's that 30 minute mark. So it's the end of another episode. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm trying to do this in 30 minute increments. And you'll actually see that I, I, I do play a bit more on, on the streams, but you can find the streams on twitch.tv forward slash canisteris, spelled exactly like it does on the bottom right. So if you do want to see me go beyond some of these episodes, you can check out the streams there before they disappear. But if not, you could watch the next episode um, when they come out. And with that, I do want to thank you for watching. And goodbye, everybody. This is where it's will end. Like like soon. Like 
like now.